Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. Well, if you saw my last video, you know it was all about the new foundation from Laura Mercier, the Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation. As you can see, I have a full base face on right now, including this foundation. And the day I shopped for that, I actually picked up a bunch of other products that actually finish off this face really nicely and kind of natural and lovely. So because that video was dedicated to this foundation, this video is gonna be dedicated to the rest of the makeup that that foundation video finished with. And if you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Jennifer. I'm into all things hair, skin, and makeup. And if you are too, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button because you know you're gonna come back for more. I know, you're probably like, you did this video already. Well, you saw the final face at the end of that video, but you didn't see the products. And because these products are all new to me and I really, really enjoyed almost all of them a lot, I thought, listen, I may as well show you guys instead of making that video really long just break that up into a little one break this up into a little one we got bite-sized snack bits for everyone so it's not taking up your whole damn day all right i'm gonna start with my lips because this was the surprise for me from dior this is their new lip maximizer as a matter of fact where's the box it's the dior attic lip maximizer it's a lip plumping gloss maximum hydration and volume effect i got the shade 026 intense mauve now when i saw this literally i think the day it launched in Sephora and I walked by it and I was like, I love lip gloss, but it's $40. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Cut to me one month later, picking out the shades. I went through all of them and this one here, because it was called something mauve, I'm never going to get this right, intense mauve. Immediately I was turned off by that because mauve shades don't look good on me. They're too like blue gray, but this really isn't. This is literally my lip color, but better. It's not too pinky. It's not too peachy. It's not too anything. It's just, it's too perfect. Now it does have the microest of micro glitter. I don't think I've ever seen a glitter any smaller than this. So it doesn't make your lips look glittery. It just helps with the shine and the overall effect. And when I came home, I went through my lip liners and I had one that matched perfectly. Why did I wipe that lip gloss off? Put it back on here so you can see. All right, so this is the Sephora lip liner to go. It's in the shade, it's some sort of rose. Where's the name? Rosewood. And just look at how perfect those two go together like they were made for each other all right so real quick spoiler alert this is another product let's just get this lip liner on so i can show you the gloss all right back on track you actually don't need a lip liner with this i've been wearing it without a lip liner and it just it actually stays within my lips it doesn't move it is the right amount of stickiness without being gloopy it just has like a really nice hold I mean, do you see how perfectly it goes with that lip liner? I'm, that is luck. And normally $40 for a lip gloss, I'm like, ugh, pass. And I was just in the right mood. There's always a fuzzy on me. I was in just the right mood when I saw it and I'm so glad I got it. It feels so comfortable. It stays on my lips real nicely without moving around. Of course, it's a lip gloss. So if you're gonna drink, it's going to leave an imprint. If you're going to eat, I always get that like little mark on my like chin here from I guess my lower lip moving, but I don't care. It's been literally, I think my favorite lip gloss. I'm gonna say this year because I don't wanna say ever, but I'm feeling like ever. Look at that color. It's perfect. It is like lip perfection. Am I gonna get more shades? God damn it, I am. I think lip gloss is probably my favorite makeup item. I know I say blushes because I love, love, love blush, but lip gloss just wakes up your face. Like bare face like this, running about town, pull it out of your purse, swipe it on, and all of a sudden your face has come alive. All right, let's make it official. Lip gloss is my favorite makeup of all time. Do I think you need to spend $40 on a lip gloss? Hell no. If you have the extra coin and you are a lip gloss lover, I don't think you're going to be mad at yourself for owning it. All right, so since I gave you a sneak peek on this from Lady Gaga's House Labs, this is the Color Fuse Blush. I have the shade Hibiscus Haze. When I saw this, I was like, that looks like a me shade. And at first I was like, it's the right tone for me, but how pigmented is it? 
Look at that. It's not super pigmented. It's one of those that you can just layer and layer and layer. And it just, well, let's, let's do this. I like using a very fine, fluffy brush like this. I don't like using dense brushes for blush. It just puts too much down. And this brush here from Makeup by Ariel has been really, really great. Now, as you can see, my face overall looks pretty matte. I don't have any highlighter on except for a little bit on my nose, none anywhere else. So let's see if you can see what I see with this blush. All right, so that is just my first pass. You know me, blush more, 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 please. I go a little lighter on the apples of my cheeks, but I still do the apples. For everyone who is, you know, busy, just like focusing up in this area, it's not so cute on me. I actually, my face shape and whatever else is going off my face looks a little nicer if I do have a little bit of blush in the actual blushing areas. All right, now I should stop here. I really should because that's perfect. Now, can you see it? There is like a slight, I don't wanna say glow, there's a slight sheen to this product that if you don't want to, you don't need to wear a highlighter with it, especially for daytime. It doesn't look flat or matte. It just looks like a sheer wash of color that has a little bit of life to it. I friggin' love it. And I think by now, most of you know, I'm not much for celebrity makeup brands. I just don't usually find the quality there. The only one that I have enjoyed thoroughly is Selena Gomez's Rare Beauty and now the House Labs. Like each product I try, I can just tell. Like they spent a lot of time really thinking them through, really putting in the actual research and technology to get really special products. This is a special blush. You know, I usually stick to like cream and liquid blushes. I just like how they are on my skin, on my aging skin. I just feel like they give a little life. But for a powder blush, this is really, really lovely. So for those of you who are like wary of cream and powder blushes, I think you might enjoy this because it is going to give you color, but it's also gonna give you like dimension and a little life to your cheeks. She doesn't wanna stop. And the funny thing is, is it does come off as like brighter on camera than it does in real life. So don't think, holy crap, you looking like a clown, because I promise you, in the real world, she's fine. As far as powder blushes go, this one wins as best powder blush of the year, and it's only friggin' March. I'm gonna real quick go over it with some finishing powder because that's what I do no matter what. Pretend. All right, next up, brows. Glossier has recently come to my Sephora, and I used Glossier a few years ago. I tend to think of it as like a very natural, like clean girl brand. If you like that, like just, I don't know, I'm 17 years old, my face is naturally like this, that's what Glossier is gonna give you. I don't love all the products in the brand. Who cares, not a big deal. I did pick up two of my favorites. So I picked up the Boy Brow. This is in the shade Blonde and I picked up the Lid Star in the shade Cub. These, like I used these for a long time and I'm super glad to be able to get them easily. I don't like shopping from brands that I can only buy online. It's just, I had to send back a few things to Glossier when I was shopping with them just because the shades weren't right and it was just a pain in the ass, so I stopped using them because of that. I know, she's picky. But I always loved the boy brow because you know I struggle with my brows and this is just so easy because it adds the right amount of color and pigment and a little bit of staying power, which my brows really need because they are super finicky. However, for me lately, I've been using a fan to set them immediately, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. I did have a little bit of the Benefit Precisely My Brow in there just to give some shape because I'm never going to use just one brow product. I will always use at least two. Um, usually I need shape, I need color, I need hold. So you, this here is pretty good for color and hold. Is it the strongest? No, but is it good? It really is, especially for my more natural days. So as you can see, they do thicken up my brow hairs, they add some color, but they don't completely like make them look full. I do still need to go in and fill in a little bit because you know these brows. But I'm actually not going overboard because I wanna keep it like this nice natural look. 
All right, so next we're going in with Lidstar in the shade Cub. This is 100% the shade that is for me. You can see it's kind of like that kind of, I don't know what you want to say. Is it kind of like a rose gold? We'll go with that. This I like using, we're going to put it all over the lower lid and then diffuse it out with a brush because that I find makes it really look very pretty. I'm just going to go in ham like this. You're like, lady, you look crazy. It's okay. Trust the process. I do have on a little bit of an eye primer, even though it says you don't need to prime your lids with this, and I have used this without priming it before, I find that the color tends to fade over time if it's not primed. And why not prime to get it to last a little longer? And you see how that just diffuses out to the loveliest wash of color? It is still natural, but it just brings a little more life and light to my eyes. And I actually think it helps like the blue of my eyes pop a little bit. Now this is buildable, so I could have actually gone and put another layer on. I would wait until this is mostly dried down because I don't want to disturb it. And then I would go over on top with the second layer just to build it up. But I do like it like this. Like I said, this whole line just gives that whole kind of clean girl vibe, which let's face it is not normally my vibe, but every now and then. Actually, I'm not giving off the clean girl vibe right now. This is like totally my vibe, but with a little clean girl option. All right, now before I go in with the mascara that I purchased, I'm going to just quickly tight line. All right, I had already curled my lashes. This is from KVD. This is the Go Big or Go Home. This, I was literally staring at the KVD gondola, just looking to see if there was anything new, even though I knew there wasn't. And I saw this and I'm like, I never tried this mascara before. You know how I am about finding like the world's most amazing mascaras. And it, it occurred to me like, I've never heard anyone really talk about this, so it can't be that great, but I still wanna try it. And it came in these like mini size, which I like. It says it's supposed to be extreme volume, long wear. Um, oh, that's it. It just says that in many different languages. And I mean, the pictures that they use on here look really great. So I thought, okay, who cares? Let's just give it a shot. I will tell you right now, my first experience with it was, mm, it was all right. I like how my lashes looked. They did fall a little bit, but I got a lot of flaking. But what I decided is because I want to try it again, last time I didn't use a setting spray. I'm going to use a setting spray this time and I'm going to see if the setting spray actually helps the lashes set and keep the product from flaking throughout the day. So I will let you know down here whether or not it lasted or flaked by the end of the day. So I'm going to call that like one and a half coats on this side. I think it's pretty. I do think it adds like nice volume and length. Um, is it blowing my skirt up? All right, I just did the lower lashes and gave it like a gentle second coat. What do you think? All right, let's use my Calorie Surf Poof. I've been using this a lot lately and really enjoying it. Let's hope it sets my mascara. All right, so there we have it. The five new products that I have recently purchased. I, of course, love Glossier. That's why I repurchased them. I am super in love with the House Labs blush. I mean, I think hibiscus is just the prettiest color. It's definitely a me color. The KVD Go Big or Go Home Mascara, we'll see. But this Dior, let's get the words right. Dior Addict Lip Maximizer in the shade Intense Mauve owns my heart. God, I think it's so pretty. And of course, underneath all of it is the Laura Mercier Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation. What do you think? Do you own any of these? Are you using any of these products? Are you kind of as into them as I am? Do you have this House Labs blush? I'm really thinking I might want to get another color, even though you know how I am about my powder blushes. This is such a great formula. Look at that. I don't have highlighter on. That is just the blush. It's so damn pretty, I can't help it. I might want to get like another shade for summer, maybe something that's a little more on the corally side. I gotta look and see if they have some. Of course they would have something like that. Why wouldn't they? All right, you guys, that is all for today's video. I will, of course, leave these products linked in my description box below. And as always, I wanna thank you so much for being with me, and I'll see you real soon. Mwah.